Finally, from us, our person of the week, Professor Randy Pausch of Carnegie Mellon University. He's a young man, only 46 years old, but he is dying. He was asked to deliver a final lecture, and he did so, not about what he normally teaches. He decided to talk about life, how to live it, and lessons to take from it. If you look at my CAT scans, there are approximately 10 tumors in my liver, and the doctors told me three to six months of good health left. Uh, so that is what it is. We can't change it, and we just have to decide how we're going to respond to that. We cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. And I am in phenomenally good health right now. I mean, is the greatest thing of cognitive dissonance you will ever see is the fact that I am in really good shape. In fact, I'm in better shape than most of you. <laughs> so what are we not talking about today? We're not talking about cancer because I spent a lot of time talking about that and I'm really not interested. It's about my childhood dreams and how I've achieved them. I've been very fortunate that way. And to some degree, lessons learned. So what were my childhood dreams? Being in zero gravity, playing in the National Football League, uh, authoring an article in the World Book Encyclopedia. I guess you can tell the nerds early. Um, uh, being Captain Kirk. I wanted to become one of the guys who won the big stuffed animals in the amusement park. And I wanted to be an Imagineer with Disney. If you're curious about what zero gravity looks like, I there I am. I don't think any of us have so far. Childhood dream number one, check. All right, let's talk about football. My dream was to play in the National Football League. And most of you don't know that I actually play. No. Um, <laughs> no, I did not make it to the National Football League. But I probably got more from that dream and not accomplishing it than I got from any of the ones that I did accomplish. And so I, I bided my time, and then I graduated with my PhD from Carnegie Mellon, thinking that meant me infinitely qualified to do anything. And I dashed off my letters of application to Walt Disney Imagineering, and they sent me some of the damn nicest go-to-hell letters I've ever gotten. Uh, so that was a bit of a setback. But remember, the brick walls are there for a reason. All right? The brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something. Because the brick walls are there to stop the people who don't want it badly enough. We got it all worked out. I went to Imagineering, sweetness and light. I worked on the Aladdin project. It was absolutely spectacular. Never lose the childlike wonder. It's just too important. It's what drives us. I do believe in karma. I believe in paybacks. You get people to help you by telling the truth, being earnest. I'll take an earnest person over a hip person every day, because hip is short term. Earnest is long term. Uh, don't complain, just work harder. All right, it's a picture of Jackie Robinson. It was in his contract not to complain, even when the fans spit on him. Find the best in everybody. You might have to wait a long time, sometimes years, but people will show you their good side. It's not about how to achieve your dreams. It's about how to lead your life. If you lead your life the right way, the karma will take care of itself. The dreams will come to you. And so we choose Professor Randy Pausch, who says he didn't give the lecture for his students as much as he did for his children, Dylan, Logan, and Chloe, five, two, and one year old. Sadly, they will probably know his recorded image better than they will remember him from life. But how proud they will be of their dad. And you can see the complete lecture at abcnews.com.